and now it's time to learn how to record receiving payments from clients. Receiving payments from clients usually is part of a payment schedule that is negotiated as part of the contract. Sometimes the required periodic payments are based on an amount of the work done and also invoiced as a result. That's why it's very important that you record the invoices as you earn the money. The down payment, sometimes called a job deposit, is a payment in advance of the work done and we will learn this in the next video. In this video, we will immediately deposit all customers' checks directly into the bank account. We will not use the undeposited funds feature in QuickBooks. You can learn about those things in the supplementary videos that I have included in the playlist of this course. First, let's switch on the preference in the preferences window to have the money directly deposited into the bank account. From the main menu, click Edit preferences. Then the category of preferences is payments. Click payments in the left panel. Then go to the top right and click company preference. You can see use undeposited funds as a default deposit to account has already been selected. Click the check mark to remove the check mark then click OK. Now QuickBooks will allow us to record payments directly into the bank account. The two reports that best show the financial relationship between you and your client are the customer balance detail and the open invoice report. The customer balance detail shows the running balance and every invoice and every payment in date order for each client. The running balance is the changing balance and it will show you the balance at any particular moment in time. It's a very good report Let's pin it up in the icon bar. From the main menu, click Reports, Customers and Receivables, Customer Balance Detail. Notice the Hanson Place job has the two invoices and the balance increased after the second invoice. The Mockingbird Lane job had three invoices and notice the balance increased after each invoice. To pin it up in the icon bar, we click View, Add Customer Balance Detail to the icon bar. Then click OK. Now there's a direct shortcut to the Customer Balance Detail. The Open Invoice Report shows the net amount remaining unapplied. Any open or unpaid invoices will show up in the amount unpaid or open and any open or unused payments that have not been applied to invoices will show up on this report. You can think of the open invoice as a summary giving you the net amount between the invoices and the payments. Let's open it up and put it in the icon bar. From the main menu click reports customers and receivables open invoice you must make sure the pull down menu choice says A for all notice it looks similar to the customer balance detail but it does not have the running balance column the purpose of this open invoice report is not to show the running balance it's to show a summary of what invoices remain unpaid and if there are only payments listed here it should show what payments have not yet been applied Let's go ahead and pin it up in the icon bar. View, add open invoice to the icon bar. Click OK. Now you may say it looks enough like the customer balance detail and I don't need it. It only looks the same right now because we have not yet received payments. Once we receive payments, the two reports will look very different. For example, Let's imagine on January 20, we received check number 61 from Brown Company for the Mockingbird Lane job, and we received $1,000. QuickBooks will automatically apply the payments to the unpaid invoices in date order. Most contractors do it this way. 
If the payments are not applied in date order, please watch the supplemental videos about applying customers' payments. From the main menu, click Customers, Receive Payment. First, we'll put in the date of the payment. Go forward to January, of two th January 20 of 2017. The check number is check number 61. The customer is brown, but the specific job that we got the check for is the Mockingbird Lane job. Notice as soon as we choose the correct job, all of the open invoices for that particular job show up here in the panel. The payment amount is 1,000. You don't have to type a comma or a decimal point. But when you save the field, you should look to the left of your keyboard and push the tab key. Notice QuickBooks placed a check mark on the first row in the margin on the left. This is indicating to you that this $1,000 payment has been applied to invoice number three. Invoice number three was $1,350 before we applied the payment. That means that after we save this payment, you will still owe, or uh, Tom will still owe, Brown Company for the Mockingbird job for invoice number three, but it will only owe the remaining three fifty because a thousand dollars has been applied to this invoice. After we click Save and Close, we can open up the Open Invoice Report. Notice invoice number three is still open because it's still showing up on the Open Invoice Report, but it no longer says one thousand three hundred fifty. Instead, it says only 350 because that's the remaining amount of the invoice that has not yet been paid. If we open the customer balance detail, we can see the entire amount of invoice number three in its original position. And notice, if you look at the bottom of the section of Mockingbird Lane, you can see that for the very first time, the Mockingbird Lane balance decreased by a thousand dollars on January 20 for the thousand dollar payment that we just received. To understand it properly we should really take a look at a second example. Let's imagine on January 23rd we received check 66 from Brown Company for the Mockingbird Lane job, another check for a thousand dollars. The oldest invoice will be paid in full. The remainder will be applied to the next oldest invoice. And again, if payments are not applied in date order, please watch the supplemental videos about applying customers' payments. But in our example, it will be very easy. From the main menu, click Customers, Receive Payment. Now before we continue, let's put a shortcut to the Receive Payments window right up here in the icon bar. View add receive payments to the icon bar and click OK. Now we have a convenient shortcut and we don't have to memorize main menu choices. The date of this payment was the 23rd. It was check number 66. And again, the client was not only Brown Company but specifically for the Mockingbird Lane job. Here are all the open invoices for that job. Notice the original amount of invoice number three, as well as the remaining amount due. We'll put $1,000 again in the payment field. On the left of your keyboard, push the tab key. Now notice what happens. QuickBooks has applied 350 out of this 1000 to invoice number three, thereby paying it off completely. The remaining 650 has been applied to the next oldest invoice, invoice number four. So after we click Save and Close, the open invoice report will not show invoice number three at all because it is completely paid. And on that same open invoice report, we will see the difference between the, the original amount of invoice number four and the 650 that was applied. So. The open invoice report should show two invoices, where the top one, invoice number four, is only 2050. Click Save and Close. Look at the open invoice report. Invoice number three is gone because it is completely paid off. 
whereas invoice number four has now been reduced to 2050.